Langchain, Langflow, Flowwise, and Rivet. All of these applications are quite complex, intricate, multi-agent frameworks for large language model applications. Lots of customizable features that allows you to create complex AI agents. Some of these apps require a lot of coding experience to configure it. However, some do not require any. It can be quite tough to choose and handle these applications, which is why I have an easy, lightweight solution to creating complex AI agents. This is where I introduce Langroid, the multi-agent framework for large language model applications. It's an intuitive, lightweight, extendable, and principled Python framework, and it's used to easily build LM-powered applications. You are easily able to set up agents, equip them with optional components, whether that's different ranges of large language models, open source or closed source. You can set them up with memory, vector storage, and many other plugins and methods. Now, great thing is, is that you're also able to assign them specific tasks and have them autonomously work on these tasks. You can collaboratively solve a problem by exchanging messages with the different agents that are operating within Langroid. Now, this is a fresh take on large language model app development where it's considerable to basically have the thought that it's gone into simplifying a developer's experience. So this is something that we're going to definitely take a look at throughout today's video. Well, let's actually take a look at a really cool basic example where Langroid simplifies the process of extracting structured information from a commercial lease document. Now it has done this by a single input prompt into creating two agent systems for this. Now they have created one agent which generates a question which is the lease extractor and while the other agent is focusing on answering proper citations from the document which is the doc agent. Now, this example is just basically showcasing Langroid's multi-agent collaboration feature, its smart questioning answering feature, as well as its structured information presentation. Now, the great part is, is that you're able to plug and play different LMs that you can use, and it basically starts off by asking you what documents are needed, as well as what language models that you want to work with. And you're able to then simplify this process of extracting extracting the structured information into creating different complex agents to help solve your basic need. Now, the great part is, is that this doesn't just simplify the process of solving your problem. It works very complex in very complex ways to help find the best solution by deploying multi-agent systems. Now, that's one of the great things about this framework and this is why I really wanted to cover it because it's more intricate in a different way and it's a simple and easy way to configure it which is why I wanted to provide this insight because many of us on this channel have difficulties configuring as well as installing many of these big projects such as like Rivet or many of these other bigger frameworks. Now throughout today's video we're going to take a look at Langroid a little bit more in depth what you can do with it and just showcasing some of the capabilities so with that thought guys make sure you guys stay tuned and with that thought let's get straight into the video hey guys i'm offering my consulting so if you're interested on booking a one-on-one -on -one, definitely take a look at this link in the description below i'm going to be offering different tutorials private consulting i focus on many different avenues so if you're interested in this i can help you scale your business as well so definitely take a look at this link in the description below hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video we're going to take a look at langroid where you're able to create complex ai agents now with the emergence of powerful large language models there has been an extraordinary opportunity to create intelligent applications that leverage the groundbreaking technology However, the key question for businesses is how they can effectively harness large language models for complex applications. It's not just necessarily businesses as many users are implementing this into their own workflows. These are the same questions many of us actually have because we know that it's not as straightforward as just assigning a task to a large language model and expecting it to handle perfectly uh, due to technical and practical challenges. Now, to make the most out of large language models on a larger scale, you need to have a structured programming framework. And this is what Langroid is built upon. It's a framework where agents come in and they serve as a convenient way to manage large language model conversations, long-term memory access, where you use vector storage, 
you have various tools and functions that could be implemented in this multi-programming framework. Langroid is basically this practical solution that simplifies the definition of agents, tasks, and their collaboration in complex LM-based applications, as it's basically able to offer systematic approach to coordination as well as interactions between different agents, as they can turn to respond as well as shape different ranges of messages. Now, Langroid's architecture is quite lightweight, adaptable, and it's open to other methods of integration. This is something that we're going to take a look at as we showcase how you can actually install it later on into the video. Now, there is a couple of highlights I want to mention, so let's get to that step and take a look at this. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, giveaways, networking opportunities, collaborative calls, and so much more, definitely take a look at the Patreon page in the link in the description below. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, check out our previous videos. It would mean the world to me, guys, if you guys can like, turn on the notification bell, as it will definitely help this channel out a lot more. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's get right back into the video. Now, in terms of the highlight, these are some of the things that this multi-agent framework provide. We can see that there's agents as first-class citizens, uh, their core abstraction in Langroid is that they can act as message transformers and these message transformers encapsulate these three methods and entities which is the lang language model, you have the agent and the user. You have a highlight on task where a task class wraps an agent, it could be sent to the nodes which are these three entities over here. You have LM support, plugins, vector storage, and you have many other highlights over here which you can definitely take a look at as each highlight has its own uh, documentation and this is basically a way for you to harness these capabilities into this multi-agent framework so in terms of installation and setting this up there's three methods of doing this uh, two methods of installing and one way of accessing it firstly you can definitely just install it locally which is a method that i'll showcase very shortly but another method is using Docker. And lastly, the last method is using Google Colab. This is a way for you to host it off the Google Cloud service, and it doesn't require you to install anything. This is the method that I'll showcase in terms of creating demos. But for the case of this video, I'm gonna showcase how you can actually install this. First things first, you're gonna to need to make sure that you have the requirements fulfilled, which is making sure that you have Python 3.11 or greater, uh, making sure that you have pip installed, and you will also need to make sure that you have Git installed. Once you have these requirements fulfilled, we can move on to the installation. It's fairly easy. What you wanna do is open up command prompt, type this up, open this up, and what you wanna do is go scroll up onto the GitHub repo. Now I'll leave all these links in the description below. Now copy, click on the screen button and copy the link of this repo. Scroll all the way down back to the commands go back up onto your command prompt, type in git clone, and paste this link over here. This will start cloning the repository. It'll take a couple minutes to a couple seconds. So let it wait and actually start cloning. Once it has finished cloning, what you need to do is go into the Langroid folder by typing CD Langroid and click enter. Once you are here, you can copy this command, paste it into the Langroid file, and once you finish installing the requirements, we can move on to the last step where we're gonna use and install the, or implement the embeddings of Hugging Face. Now it says that the core Langroid packages lets you use OpenAI's embedding models, but you're also cut, like allowed for the customization to use Hugging Face models. This is where you can embed uh, different language models, different plugins, and different applications. So I'm gonna basically just use OpenAI's embedding, and then I'm gonna move forward with the installation where I set up the environments. Once it has finished installing, what you will need to do now is set up the virtual environments. This is by inputting your API key for whatever model that you're trying to use. In this case, if you're using the framework for the OpenAI embedding, you simply just copy this command, paste it into your command prompt, and once you have done that, then you can insert your API key. In this case, you will need to use this command. So if you're using, I believe, a Mac, you will need to use this command. But if you're using Windows, you get rid of the export and just replace it with set, S-E-T. 
once you have done that you just input your api key over here and you press enter now what you can do after is just open up the main.py file and they have a documentation on how to get started on this it, they showcase the tutorials on creating multiple multi-framework agents now in the case of this video we're going to showcase how to do this with the google collab so what you want to do first is click on file and you want to save a copy in your drive once you have done that you want to click on runtime change the runtime to the best hardware that is available once you have that set we can get started and installing langroid this is by clicking on each and every block once you have installed installed sorry not installed i made up my own word once you have installed langroid you can then move forward and set up the api key this is where you're going to have to input your open ai api key but in the case where you're using other lms there is a way in which you can embed hugging face token uh, models into this model card over here now they have a tutorial on this so if you're interested in doing that definitely take a look at this but once you have done that you can move forward and then in this case you do not need to change around with the many different things but this is where they stated that you can use an api open ai gpt config to set up the configuration of open ai lm model we can then define the LM model using OpenAI GPT. We can also specify the messages that will be sent to instruct the model. So in this case, these are the instructions that will be sent to the large language model and which how and like how they will be responding to whatever is generated. So in this case, they have it so that it's going to be a helpful assistant. We move down a little bit further. Uh, it talks about a little bit more about the notes and the rest of the examples. These are all the examples that they have over here. They have a couple examples in which you can play around with. You can define an agent, set up a task, and then run it. You can do this by uploading data as well, which is very useful so that you can streamline the process of creating agents based off your own documentation and give it the context that is relevant to what you're trying to basically have it generated. And that's through obviously providing the context of from your documentation. If you go down a little bit more, there is a three communicating agent system where they have set it up so that there's three collaborately uh, or like three agents collaboratively working together. Uh, I believe there is one more example where they have a simple tool function calling example and there's various different ranges. So what I would recommend you to do first is find an example that you want to play with and you're going to be able to develop these complex AI agents. But if you get a gist of it, you can see that it starts off from a simple command. Uh, each and every agent has a block that is the same. Uh, in other cases, you can add on and configure it so that there's uh, more uh, like agents being imported, uh, imported, sorry, and more like tasks that can be imported. This is a way for you to develop and work with different ranges of agents as well as different ranges of tasks. Now, there is a huge documentation as to how you can set this up. So if you're interested in any of this, definitely take a look at this and you can get a better idea as to how you can do all of this. On Twitter, there is an example where a user was actually able to compare Langchain versus Langroid. And we're able to see this comparison on the relevance extractor agent, where it compares the speed and cost of using this in the Google Colab. And they also mentioned that uh role uh, relevance extraction is not just for cost and speed but also for more accurate responses so the lm is not distracted by irrelevant text in the chunk it basically showcases that langroid is able to be 22 times faster and 36 percent cheaper which is really really great approach in using complex ai agents that could be created with this multi-agent programming system it offers a better solution compared to many of these other AI applications that help you create complex agents. So definitely keep this in mind. This is something that could definitely benefit you if you want to utilize this framework. In conclusion, guys, this is quite an intricate framework that will be very useful for creating AI complex agents. So definitely take a look at this with the link in the description below. But that basically concludes today's video. Definitely check out the consulting page if you are interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one with me. If you're interested in our Discord, definitely take a look at the Patreon page. Follow World of AI on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.